goes around 14 years, almost 14 years as a council member. So over the course of time, I've collected a lot of things. That's a great gift. That's me in my hiking clothes and walking up to the observatory. That's a gift from somebody, which was so special. Here in our conference room, we got a, a lot of stuff. A great old picture of City Hall. And, and the Olympics are very important. That's a great map that we got uh, designed. And over here, this is a, a nice tribute the, for street lighting. All the history of street lighting right in there, which I'm going to try to send in the library department because the library department is our greatest resource where the public can come in and see things. Okay, now this is something very special. Oh, wow. Not too many of these yeah. exist wow. in the wow. city. Brown's wow. special, you Brown's got it. Brown's is special. Wow. 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 It's wow. not a cord. Oh, wow. It's, wow. It has an LED wow. lamp in it, wow. so this is for you. Wow. Wow. Boston wow. Avenue wow. in my district between 5th and 6th has the oldest street lamp. Wow. And it's a 29th district chief yeah. board. <laughs> and uh, Joan Pickett here, who's the president that, yeah. of the Wilshire Community. Yeah. You know like, Boston like, Avenue. Yeah, She's from the community. <laughs> okay. So this is the people who we work for, oh, which is goodness. so special. And her husband, come on in, Wiley. Come on in here right oh, here. Oh, You could. He's an electrician. I'm honored by this. This is pretty special. Thank you so much. to power to give you free lifetime electricity. Photographs that I took. Or other, this was a great uh, poster here. And uh, this is Gary Cooper at high noon, if you get a good shot of that. And this is in the movement, the great solidarity movement in Poland. Notice instead of a gun, which he had, he has a ballot. This is a great poster, one of my favorite posters that I've collected over the course of time. And This guy's gonna help lead us in the next decade. Mitchell Farrell, give him Thank a big hand. We're here this morning to celebrate another advancement that our Department of Transportation has done. He's in his last uh, five months as a city council member, um, but has just done an extraordinary job promoting our city, promoting LA. He's finally gotten over his shyness. Please welcome the one and only Tom LaBonge. Mr. Mayor, get up here, Mr. O'Farrell. Mr. Mayor and Mr. O'Farrell, I have a message here. This is why I wrote the song, signed Randy Newman, I Love L.A. <laughs> this is Barnsdall Park, I Love L.A. And what's so important is this spot in Ann Barnsdall and created this spot, this spot right here. And there is a wonderful observatory which will celebrate its 80th anniversary on May 14th. You're all welcome to come up from Mont Avenue. And there's a wonderful Hollywood sign. And Mr. Mayor and Mr. O'Farrell, I was in your old district, your new district, the other day, and I lined up Silvertop, the observatory, and the Hollywood sign all in one frame. This is a tremendous place for all of us as we stand here on top of Barnsdall. And to get it back is what's so special. Right there, Tommy. The 
city of Los Angeles in its efforts to recognize great citizens often picks locations where community gathers, where one maybe at a red light will stop and look at the name and be reflective of who that person is. All of us, every day, remember those who went before us. I thank the city of Los Angeles and the uh, mayor and the council for developing this program because I do believe it affects people. As I end my career, when I came from here, I have read plaques and I read signs. And, uh, and, and so this will further the cause of the memory of your father. May it always be from Joseph Anthony Dato. Hello everyone, I'm Phil Schumann. Thanks for joining us for another edition of your Council District Close-Up. Today my guest is the always informative Councilman Tom LeBond hey, of the 4th District. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Um, we were just talking, uh, you were first elected to the fill the term of John Ferraro right. back in uh, October 2001. Then he was re-elected in 2003 and then of course there's a possibility of another full four years beyond that. So in addition to like three decades with the city, you could be representing the 4th District for like 10 years altogether. Well, it's a great honor. To, every day is a great honor to represent this city and this district. So uh, I, I just want to work hard for the people of Los Angeles. Please welcome Los Angeles City Council Member Tom LaBange. Stephen, thank you. Give Stephen a big hand and all the people who are involved here. Good morning, good afternoon to everybody. And our man from Washington, I think it's like 68 degrees now. It really is nice and warm in the city, Southern California. It's good to have a man from Washington out here. As mentioned, our sister city program started a little history back in 1958. Then President Eisenhower felt it's very important for cities to get together. Because sometimes on the federal levels, they deal in one area. But in a city level, it's right down to the street. And from that program, Los Angeles has been a champion of our sister city program. Over 20 different sister cities have a relationship with Los Angeles. Welcome to Griffith Park, the largest urban park in the United States, over 4,212 acres. Hello, I'm Councilman Tom LaBange, and so much is going on in the park, I just can't wait to tell you. So let's jump in the car and see what's happening in your Griffith Park. Observatory, one of the greatest public buildings in the whole world, and we're here to learn about the major expansion and renovation. It's a great time for the observatory under construction. Here we are with Dr. Grupp. Ed, good to see you. Tell us what's Hi, going on. Yeah, we're delighted. It's an $83 million renovation and expansion of, of really the, the most visible public observatory, a unique building in the world. There are really three major parts of this effort. One is the restoration of this building, which is a landmark of art. Number two, the planetarium theater, you know, where the stars come out sure. underneath the dome. We are completely rebuilding that theater with all new technology. Well, let me ask you this, though. Will James Dean's seat still be there? Guaranteed James right, Dean's seat will always uh, be there uh, watching that. Coming into the left, I believe. Yeah. Thanks for joining me today and to learn of all that's happening here at Griffith Park. It really is fascinating. I hope to see you here, but right now, I got to get back to City Hall. So take care, and we'll see you at Griffith Park. Bye-bye. All right, this is Tom LeBond from Council District 4 signing off to Channel 35, but I hope to come back uh, on a rerun. <laughs>